I want to say that what happened in Nigeria was not election observ observation, but a crime watch. We watched a crime being perpetrated on a country of 200 million people with utter and complete impunity. In 1997, when I came on exile myself, after having been imprisoned by General Bacha, I had the privilege of meeting uh, Senator Bola Tinubu in Nadeko in exile in the UK. So we have been in the trenches fighting for democracy. And it is painful for us to see what is happening, that we're not making the progress that we think we should make. I want to wrap up my remarks by making a couple of points that it is not that the elections in Nigeria were handled, handled badly, but that the rigging in Nigeria was handled badly. There was no effort, there was no sincere effort to conduct an election in Nigeria. What happened was an insincere effort to conduct rigging. And that is why you will see cancellations. You will see unbelievable uh, atrocities that were done. They, they didn't even make a genuine effort to hide the manipulation of the elections. I also want to make this second point, that it isn't that they failed to meet global standards, but that they failed to meet even their own standards. There is no way that INEC can say that the travesty that occurred was what they had promised uh, time and time and again. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to say that I, uh, I join my voice to what Nadeko has said today, uh, the INEC chairman needs to resign for once again betraying the trust of the Nigerian people. The United States government should not dignify the travesty that has occurred by legitimizing illegitimate rulers. And most importantly, we must not fail the young Nigerians who came out in droves in the sun and put their fate in their own hands that they wanted to rescue their country from bad leadership, only to be abused and misused in this manner. So I call upon the government of General Buhari, if he has any dignity and if he has any aspirations to any legacy whatsoever, to salvage Nigeria from the travesty that has occurred in the sham elections that held. Thank you very much. And what we're asking for is very simple. Prove to us. Prove. Nadekos has proved to us that if there, is a, if there is a Nigeria and there is a democracy in Nigeria, that it was arrived at lawfully and in accordance with the rule of law. The continuation of power by the ruling party is a wholesale disenfranchisement of Nigeria without more. That is little more than a dictatorship. And it's a new dictatorship, but it is nonetheless a dictatorship because it's imposed apparently against the will of the people. And we believe the will of the people of Nigeria must be preserved, it must be sanctified, and it must be held with the most solemn of regard. This event is designed to lead a global call to action to address INEX duplicity and to make sure that the truth is told and that what happened is exposed and the next steps can be taken. And I, for one, I, I know there is a lot of skepticism. I've appeared in this, well, a few rooms over a few years ago on the uh, Uzodima issue. I was involved in drafting briefs that were filed there. Uh, the Nigerian judiciary cannot always be relied on to do the right thing in, in elections. But I take a little bit of hope. You've got to be an optimist. You have to be an optimist because your faith in God and your love for your country and your love for your family, you got to be an optimist. The Nigerian judiciary showed us they have the ability to disregard what INECTA says and chart their own path toward justice. Now, we may disagree with what they did with Uzadima. Certainly, Iheri Oha did, disagrees, and my clients did, but they have that ability. So the Nigerian judiciary, there's a small spark of hope. The recent ruling to free Mazi Namdikanu and to impose a substantial fine of a billion Nara for his wrongful retention, that gives you hope. I believe the Nigerian judiciary can do the right thing. But if they don't, we also believe 
that the international community has a burden. It's far too long disregarded the great Nigeria. We cannot turn our back. The will of the people of Nigeria must be preserved. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Niger Situation Report. And Nadeko has said that they will stay their stand on the presidential poll results. And the stand has always been that the results of the presidential election held on the 25th of February 2023 isn't free and fair. So the National Democratic Coalition, Nadeko United States, has said it will remain on the side of agreed candidates on the just concluded presidential election to get justice, asserting that the process that led to the Bola Tinobu of the Hope Progressive Congress becoming president elect was heavily flawed. Nadeko is pushing the truth forward, and the truth has set the people of Nigeria free. Nadeko prevailed once before and enthroned true democracy in Nigeria. History is bound to repeat itself. Nadeko is going to continue what he did on June 12, 1993, and that is to stand for free, fair, and credible elections in Nigeria. For the record, Nadeko US is not a splinter group, nor its executive director, Mr. Lord Kuku, an impostor, as alleged by Mr. Dili Alaki. Kuku is the executive director of Nadeko in Washington, DC, US. This is a position he has held for years. This can be verified both by Daniel Aleke, his principal, Bola Ahmed in the United States government, and the District of Columbia government. Also, that local message is loud and clear to Nigerians at home and abroad, and to the international community that the just concluded presidential election of the February 25, 2023, that produced Bola Ahmed in as president elect who happens to be one of our former members was shamelessly flawed and short of Nadeko's democratic geologies and international best practices and standards. So Nadeko has now decided, he said the tactics that is an act of desperation indicative of nothing substantive to say. Schoolboys use this argument when they have been intellectually disarmed because they have nothing else to say beyond stammering hard women attack, squattered in homeless desperation to prove democracy will be said. And going on, he said, we are working for the improvement of true democracy in Nigeria based on the popular will of Nigerians as expressed through free and fair election. Now, these are what they said, and what do you think about it? They said the presidential election is not free and fair, and they will do all in their power to ensure that the presidential election and every other election in Nigeria is free, credible, and uh, uh, is just. Okay, so they said the current situation is not acceptable, and they will do all in their best to ensure that truth and fairness actually reign in this country. What do you think about this situation? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you.